Suppose you have a perfectly round disc. You put three legs randomly anywhere on the disc to form a table. Supposing that the legs are perfectly perpendicular to the disc and are attached to the disc firmly, what is the probability that the table will not fall when you put the disc to stand on its legs? This is a very beautiful problem with a very beautiful solution because you can't just solve it using math. You need some intuition as well. To get started, let's think about when the disc would fall over. Clearly, if I group the three legs together like so, the disc will fall. If we draw a couple more points on this disc and think about whether the table would fall or not, it becomes pretty clear that the table won't fall if the center of the table lies within the triangle defined by the three points such as it does right here. If the center is outside of this triangle, then the legs won't be able to offer enough support and the table will fall. The center of the disc is also its center of gravity, and it is a well-known fact that the center of gravity must lie above the base of support, which is the triangle spanned by the three legs. So we want to calculate the probability that the center of the circle lies in the triangle spanned by three points chosen uniformly at random from the disc. Since this probability is not dependent on the size of the disc, we can assume that it is a unit disc with center at 0, 0 in our coordinate plane. Now, let us pick one point at random on the disc and rotate the disc so that the point lies on the x-axis. For the second leg, we'll consider two cases, namely the case when the second leg is placed on the upper half of the disc and one where it is placed on the lower half. The probability that the disc doesn't fall is equal to the probability that the disc doesn't fall given that the second leg is on the upper half of the disc times the probability that the second leg is on the upper half of the disc plus the probability that the disc doesn't fall given that the second leg is on the lower half of the disc times the probability that the second leg is on the lower half of the disc. Since the second leg is equally likely to be on the upper half and the lower half of the disc, the second probabilities are just one half, and by symmetries, the first two probabilities are the same as well. Therefore, the probability that the disc doesn't fall is equal to the probability that the disc doesn't fall given that the second leg is on the upper half of the disc. To calculate this probability, let's draw the second leg on the upper half of the disc. By drawing a line through the second leg and the center of the disc, we can see that if we put the third leg anywhere in the shaded region, the center of the disc will be in the triangle spanned by the three legs and the disc won't fall. Now, notice that the two shaded regions are equal in area, so we can just calculate the red shaded one. If we denote the angle between the x-axis and the line through the second point by theta, then the area of the shaded region is just theta over 2. This is because the area of the whole circle is pi, which means that when theta is 2 pi, we want the area to equal pi, so the area of the shaded sector must be equal to theta over 2. Thus, the probability that the third leg is in the blue shaded region is equal to the area of the blue shaded region divided by the area of the whole circle, which is theta over 2 pi. We now want to integrate over all the possible locations of the second leg in the upper half disk to get the aggregate probability. Since the area of the upper half disk is pi over 2, the conditional distribution of the second leg on this upper half circle is 1 over pi over 2, which is just 2 over pi. Using polar coordinates, we can now integrate the density times the probability of theta over 2 pi that we calculated earlier over the upper half circle using r dr d theta instead of dx dy. Theta ranges from 0 to pi, and r ranges from 0 to 1, and evaluating this integral gives 1 over 4. Thus, the probability that the disk won't fall if we randomly put three legs on it is 1 over 4. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the solution to that problem, and if you did, please consider subscribing to my channel, and I'll hope to see you again next time.